So there's been an awful lot of news about you know the recession and, and the housing market and what does recession mean to the housing market lately and there's a lot of concern people have for, for good reason um, but here today I'm going to take you into a dive into our MLS and see the actual numbers that we're seeing here in our local area and um, first I'm going to do all of Galveston County is the county we're in um, all single family uh, resale homes we're going to compare this year to last year and then even go back um, a, a little farther and see how many number what the number of sales was um, versus prior years okay so let's take a look at these numbers um, we're going to go to our Houston Association Realtors MLS let's look at the actual stats here and look at single-family homes in Galveston County you can see where I get this information from I'm going to uh, eliminate new construction okay so I don't want to put that in I just want to see resale um, I'm going to go 13 months back from June of 21 till July of 2022. Um, what we want to look at is the total number of sales and group those by month so we can compare. And um, let's see what information we pull up. So obviously by this chart, um, sales are definitely down. This is uh, July of 2022, 427 sales. And this is going to be July of 2021, 617. So that's quite a quite a large difference. Let's look at the data behind it. And you can see, um, you know, the preceding months of 2022. And then the, um, so June wasn't down as much, but July was down as 190 sales. Obviously, that's quite a lot. But just curious, let's look at... Um, a five-year time frame for that and um, we can compare so um, July of 2017 there were 407 sales 2018 443 um, so we're back to kind of that 17 18 even 19 um, even though a few less than 19 uh, 2020 of course and 2021 were or, you know, crazy years. So those numbers are higher. So we're kind of back to a normal situation here, 427 sales. So, you know, there you have it. Number of sales numbers are actually down from last year, um, but they're not tremendously down if you look at, you know, further back in the history. Um, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is the average sales price in Galveston County and using the same criteria, single family homes, and I'm going to leave out the new construction. So we're just dealing with um, the resale homes. Okay, so um, what everybody's super interested in is going to be the sales price. Let's see what the average sales price has done in the past year. So um, it looks like the sales price is doing pretty well in 2021. 375,713. And remember, this is excluding new construction. So this is just resale homes. Um, 373, I'm sorry, 375, 713. And in 2022 in July, $444,000 was the average sales price of homes. Um, let's take that further out again. And let's go back for five years. There we go. Trouble clicking. So for five years, um, like you can see, this chart is just ramping up, steadily ramping up. And look at the data behind it. Let's just look at July. July of 2017, average home sale prices in leaks, I'm sorry, Galveston County were 200 and just shy of 272,000. And in uh, 2022, almost $445,000. So that's a huge jump. Um, so um, there you go. That's, you know, it looks and last year was 375, 713. So um, the numbers are steadily increasing. We don't expect to. So man, those are crazy numbers. You know, they say the best deal on a house is the one you bought five years ago. So there you have it right there. Uh, tremendous gains in equity in the last five years. And look for that to continue even, you know, at a slower pace, but still, 
look for equity and home values to increase. So the last thing we're going to take a look at today is active listings on the market. You know, the past two years have been very difficult for buyers trying to get into homes. Um, so let's see this year compared to the last few years of how many active listings there are in the market. That's the inventory for buyers to go in and, and you know, be able to have an opportunity to get the homes they're looking for. Okay, so let's look at active listings, the number of active listings in the market. Um, so, so from last year to this year, I would say that it's going to be up and definitely is up. Last year, there were only 900 um, active listings in the market and it's gone up and down, obviously, as you can see. And so we've got just shy of 1,200 listings in Galveston County. Um, that's active listings. That's not pending on your contract. Um, but it still shows, um, you know, there's still not a whole lot of homes on the market. Um, we still have a fairly low um, supply. So if you divide 1,200, just say by, you know, it was about a little over 400 homes sold. So you're looking at between two and three months worth of inventory. That's still very low considering a, a balanced market is six months. Um, once again, looking at the data behind it. And let's just go back five years to see how that works. It's a little slow. Here we go. So just stay in July. As you can see, the active listings, the inventory is still low as compared to the past, say, four out of the past uh, five years. Um, or actually five out of the last six years. Um, only year lower was 2020 and, and then 2021. The others, others were around 1,700 listings in the market in July. So, and this year we're at uh, about 1,200. So inventory is much better than it was, but it's still pretty low. Um, so as a seller, there's good opportunities. And as a buyer, there should be as well. There's just more inventory to choose from. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully that's interesting to you and helps you understand the market we're in today. We still feel like it's a very healthy market um, where you're looking to buy or sell. Um, and these numbers, like I said, for Galveston County, we'll be putting some videos out of some other areas too. If you have an area that you want to know more about, drop a line below and let us know and we'll post a video on that.